Hi everyone, this is the second video in week two on how to cite online journals in AMA citation format. So an online journal in this case would be a journal that you, or an article that you get off of um, a database like PubMed. So if you guys are not familiar with PubMed, um, it's a website that comprises essentially a database of articles from various journals because you guys know there are hundreds of journals and so it's really easy to just search for like coconut oil or carbohydrates or whatever you're interested in and then get a bunch of peer-reviewed literature on that topic so for this video i'm going to use this article as an example so as with the last video, you see I have the general format here. And this, I'm gonna do this the same way that I did the last video and essentially separate the author, the title, the journal name, et cetera, and then put it all together at the end into one cohesive citation. All right, so to get started, the authors. So the authors are all listed for this article here. So something that's important to remember for citing an AMA format is if there are more than six authors, so in this case there are obviously more than six authors, you only cite the first three authors, so this one, this one, and this one, and then you type et al. If there are six or fewer authors, you have to type out all of the authors. So in this case, because there are more than six, I'm going to use the first three. So I'm also going to write them as, as I will be writing them in the citation. So last name and then first initial and middle initial. So the first one is Silvetsky, AC. The second one is Edelstein, SL. And then the third author is Walford, G. So then after I list those three authors, I'm going to type comma and then et al. And that basically means and all of the other authors. And um, if someone wants to go to this specific article, they have all the information, they can look up the article and see the, the rest of the authors if they so choose. Okay, so now you're going to type out the titles. So this is the same way that it was shown in the AMA citation format for a website. So the title is going to be in sentence case. So that means that the first letter of the, of the first word will be capitalized and then the rest of the letters will be lowercase. So in this case, it'll, so obviously this is the title here, right? So I'm gonna type it out in sentence case. A high carbo, Hi, fiber. Shoot. Sorry, it's hard to talk and type at the same time. And that should, sometimes it'll end up automatically capitalizing things, so you have to be, be wary of that. Low fat diet results in weight loss among adults at, oops, adults at high risk for type two diabetes. Okay, so then next you see that it shows the journal name. So in this case, I'm going to click on the full text link. So when you, when you originally click on an article in PubMed, it'll give you this short summary. So this is the abstract. And then the full text links will be listed here. So this is where you can get the full text, so be able to read the entire article. So in this case, you can see the, the title of the journal is really big right here. It says the Journal of Nutrition. However, when you type in journal names for AMA citation formats, you have to use the National Library of Medicine abbreviations. So if you look back on PubMed, in the top left corner, you see this J-N-U-T-R. That, um, that is the medical 
Library of Medicine abbreviation for the Journal of Nutrition. And you can see if you just put your cursor just over it, it'll say the Journal of Nutrition. Easy peasy, write that down. J, oops, nutrition, just like that. Okay, then the year. So I'm gonna go back to the full length article. And you can see that there's a bunch of information listed just under the title. So this is going to come in handy for when we are trying to cite this. So I'm going to move that over just a smidge. So the year is 2017. The VOL here stands for volume. So the volume is listed here, it's 147. And then the issue number, which is also listed here, it's issue 11. And then the pages, the page numbers, so those are listed here. 2060 to 2066. Okay, and then finally, what you're going to have to find is the DOI. So DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier. This number is very similar to like a website or URL, um, and it's just specific to each article. It's another way to identify which article it is that you're citing. So to find this, on this full-length article, the numbers are listed here. So everything after the backslash after org, these are, this is the DOI numbers. But if you're on PubMed, you can also go to the bottom, you'll see PMID, PMCID, and then DOI. So I think it's the easiest to find it on PubMed and you can just highlight this, copy it, paste it, and then there it is, ready to go. So now I'm going to put all this together into one coherent citation. So if you write it all the way that you're going to write it in your citation, it makes it super easy to just copy and paste. So I'm copying and pasting the authors first, period, space after the authors, and then I'm going to do the article title in sentence case, copy paste from what I already wrote. So it's super easy, period at the end of that, and then also a space. The Journal of Nutrition, remember, abbreviated according to the National Library of Medicine. Copy and paste the same way. So a point that I wanna make really quick about the journal title is that it needs to be italicized. So you can highlight it and hit the italicized little button and then I would hit it again so that you're no longer in italics and then you're ready to copy and paste the next thing. So go back up to here. Where are we? All right so we did the journal name. Now we have a period space and then the year which is 2017 and then after the year you're going to put a semicolon and then a space and then the volume which is 147. And then after the volume, you'll put a space and then in parentheses, the issue number. In this case is 11. And then a colon and then the page number. So you don't have to write pages in front of it. You just put the page numbers. So 2060 to 2066 and then a period and then a space. And then for the DOI, you have to write DOI and then put a colon and make sure that this, this should not be capitalized. Sometimes your computer will automatically capitalize it because it thinks it's the beginning of the next sentence. And so for the DOI, you literally just copy and paste. Okay, so the only thing is make sure that there's not a space. Oops. All right, make sure that there's not a space after the colon and before the actual DOI number. So right here. And then you're going to put a period at the end. And there you go, you have your citation.
I'll post this formula um, in a note or in a, an announcement um, on the D2L course homepage. But I also want to show you guys a quick trick. If you are citing journals on PubMed, you can not every single article will have this available. But if so, if you go to PMC, so this is PubMed Central full text, you can click on that. And this has the journal information, all the same information that the actual journal website did, as you can see the journal nutrition, blah, blah, blah. And then the entire article will be listed on here. And then also in the top right corner, there's this button citation. So if you click on that, you can see that there's the citation for this article in all different kinds of, um, in all different um, formats. So there's AMA, MLA, APA, NLM, etc. So you can always just copy and paste this into your bibliography. Okay. All right, so feel free to email me if you have any questions. Um, oh, really quick. Also, let's just show you the resource that we have on D2L. So we're going to go to the D2L homepage. So here's the D2L homepage. Mine probably looks a little bit different than yours. Under content, Helpful tools, there's going to be an AMA style referencing guideline. So this is um, based on the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics citation format, which is the same as the AMA citation format, okay? So this will give you a pretty comprehensive overview of exactly how you um, cite everything. Okay. All right. Feel free to email me if you have any questions about this. Okay.